Good morning. It's Friday, June 28th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Depression Reigns, and our scripture is Psalm 77. I cry out to God, yes, I shout, oh, that God would listen to me. When I was in deep trouble, I searched for the Lord. All night long I prayed with hands lifted toward heaven, but my soul was not comforted. But then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They're constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. O God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the Red Sea saw you, O God, its waters looked and trembled. The sea quaked to its very depths. The clouds poured down rain. The thunder rumbled in the sky. Your arrows of lightning flashed. Your thunder roared from the whirlwind. The lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters, a pathway no one knew was there. You led your people along that road like a flock of sheep with Moses and Aaron as their shepherds. If I sent you an invitation to a party, you'd want to know what it's about. If I just came right out and asked you to come to my pity party, you would more than likely have somewhere else to be, anywhere else. Let's face it, when depression hits, it hits hard. It takes over the playground and it's the guest that's least likely to get the hint that it's time to go home. Depression stinks. And I can think of no person on earth more likely to be depressed than a believer who prays and hears a resounding silence from heaven. In this psalm, Asaph wrote that he prayed all night long. Most of us will give five minutes to prayer, ten if we're hurting, and even fifteen if life is falling apart. But this guy prayed all night long. It's depressing to be in deep trouble. It's a crisis of faith to be in that deep and have heaven go silent on you. Now, If you're there, depressed and wishing, crying out like divies in hell for the relief of just a drop of cool water on your tongue, but all the answers to your prayers taste like more hot sand, today's message is for you. Reread this psalm. See how Asaph's mind replayed the video of God's rescue of his ancestor slave nation Israel in the desert. Remember with the psalmist how the Red Sea trembled and then got out of the way so God's kids could walk on dry land to safety. Let your thoughts wander in God for a while without praying, just remembering. Remembering that he's in the business of caring for you as much as he loved them. In the middle of severe depression, Asaph's heart was not comforted. As he gave in to thinking of God's rescuing hand and the loving care of the Father who never fails, his whole heart became filled with the comfort of faith. Most pastors I know are pretty good at spotting depressed people. That's because many pastors are themselves plagued with that loneliness of soul. It's something of an occupational reality. Most times a pastoral counseling involves somebody who's troubled and needs an ear. If you live with other people's difficulties, questions, valleys of despair, and crises of faith, you yourself are going to find that rut sooner or later, the one with the shadow of death hanging over your head. For you today. So, again, if this is you and your name is Asaph today, and maybe for the last number of weeks, months, or decades, listen up. Seek out a pastor. Our ears are used to it. We're like the beggars who found bread. We'll share it with you. We'll pray with you. And if necessary, just write it out with you. These times of trouble have a reason. You may not understand it for a good while, but taking a lesson from Asaph can kickstart your journey into discovering God's answers. And it's better than coming to somebody else's pity party. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.